I don't know what I've gotten myself into. I have here a box which contains the Segway Drift W1 electric hover shoes. I have never ridden these before. They look very fun, but also very scary. I've seen others who have tested them, who have reviewed them. I'm skeptical that the reviews that I've seen so far have been sponsored or biased. So I wanted to take a look at these for myself and see how practical they are. Can you actually ride them functionally? And are they a suitable mobility device for the average person or maybe just a novelty? I'm gonna start with an unboxing because Everybody loves unboxings. Okay, how do I do this? I'm gonna get my key. Here we go. Woo! All right, so right off the bat, we've got some literature. Here we go. Heavens to Betsy. Ooh, wow, that's, that's got some weight to it. These are, okay, so right off the bat, these are a lot heavier than I expected. The videos and reviews of them I've seen so far, they say that they're heavy, but it, it really doesn't communicate just how like solid these feel. They feel sturdy. They've got these nice uh, handles on each side. You can hold them, um, even though it's a workout because they probably weigh about 15 to 20 pounds together. I see a charge port on both of them. The charger has two cables split at the end. So you can charge both of them at the same time, which is, you know, what you would expect. The box itself, you don't care about the box. Look at that, it's so, man, seriously, they weigh a lot. I'm so excited to test these out now. Honestly, I was freaking out a little bit. I was, I was terrified because they don't have a way to strap your foot onto these. The weight of them makes me feel a little bit more secure, like they're gonna be easier to ride. So I wonder if they've got any power. Where's, this, where's the power button? Okay, here we go. Oh. oh, okay, they do have power. Oh my gosh, goodness. Okay, 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 we'll get you. We'll get you out of here, buddies. They're like, they're like wild horses. Okay, we're gonna pop them off. You know, the funny thing I've seen about these is all the promotional material shows pictures of people riding them in very strange standing or riding positions. None of them look like they are able to stand up straight on them in a, a normal way which I think is just for the fun look to make it look like they're more active or engaged, but it actually just comes across like they're very difficult or challenging to ride. I'm still worried about how I'm gonna go over bumps, but I think they're gonna be safer than I thought. Let's take them out for a spin. Ooh, what am I getting myself into here? I must say I am a little scared. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Instantly I'm regretting this decision. Why, why did I order these? Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. Oh, 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 okay. It's really not that bad. <laughs> okay, this is, oh boy, oh boy. God, are you there? I'm sorry I bought that ICP record. I don't even like them. I'm sorry I didn't round up at lunch today to fight cancer. I'm sorry I told my coworker her hair looked good. It didn't, it was awful. Okay, okay, I'm getting the hang of it. You know, this actually isn't, this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. You gotta make sure that you're confident on it. Otherwise it's just gonna ruin you. What I'm learning is you have to have a lot of stability in your ankles to stay upright on these and to do it right. Okay, so I've gotten the hang of these a little bit more. So I decided to go somewhere where the pros ride around a skate park. I'm in danger. In order to turn, you're gonna lean and press in with the opposite foot of the direction you wanna go. In other words, if you wanna turn right, you're gonna lean with just your left foot into that turn. And this right foot just kinda like goes along with it, goes along for the ride. It's not unlike roller skates, it's just a self-balancing version that propels itself with you. So the Segway W1, Ooh, okay, that'll go up a hill a little bit. Oh, hell. Oh, this. Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I make it? Oh, this was a bad idea. <sighs> Dang, I almost had it, you guys. And by had it, I mean I almost busted my ass. Okay. Whew. 
That was fun and scary. Ooh, let's try it again. I'm gonna try going over that hill one more time, one more time. This is gonna be too fast. This is gonna be too fast. This is gonna be too fast. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Just have the confidence. Just have the confidence, Pete. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Woo! Wow, very danger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I will say, even though I had to bail on that one, uh, it wasn't nearly as dangerous as I thought. I thought I would just bust my tail, but uh, that, uh, that actually gives me a little bit more confidence. Let's just go over some quick specs. The Segway Drift W1 will go a maximum speed of seven and a half miles per hour, which is probably plenty enough. They are rated for a total of up to 45 minutes per ride, which is really interesting to me because most of Segway's other products and any kind of electric vehicle in general is gonna have a maximum distance range. So for Segway to tell you a length of time that you'll be riding it as opposed to a maximum distance suggests to me that they classify this more as a novelty as opposed to a true commuter. That's what I wanna test out though. Can you take these things seriously or are they just some novelty item that you get to play around on with your buddies? I'm serious, I wanna know. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> did it again, I did it again. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.